Hussein was a respected general in the Syrian army. He was a feared warrior with many victories in battle. Naaman was a powerful man in the world's eyes. But Naaman had a problem. He had leprosy. Leprosy is a disease where your body slowly falls apart. You would slowly and painfully die from this terrible disease. In the Bible days, they didn't have a cure for leprosy. If you had leprosy, you were considered unclean and you could not live with others. How is Naaman going to solve such a big problem? He couldn't solve this problem by getting into shape. Or by getting a better education. He needed a miracle. The problem was he worshipped false gods who couldn't give him that miracle. But one of his servant girls was from Israel. She told Naaman about the one true God. The one who could heal leprosy. Naaman sent word to the king of Israel that he was coming to be healed. When the king heard that the captain of the Syrian army was coming, he panicked. He wasn't walking with God and didn't know what to do. But Elisha the prophet was walking with God. He knew what to do. He told the king to send Naaman to him. Naaman arrived at Elisha's house, but he wouldn't even come outside to greet him. He told his servant to have Naaman go bathe in the Jordan River. He was to wash himself seven times. Wash in the filthy Jordan River? Naaman was outraged. Aren't there bigger and better rivers that I could bathe myself in? What a waste of time. But Naaman's servants told him to give it a try. What did he have to lose? Naaman reluctantly agreed. He dipped himself seven times in the Jordan River. When he came up after the seventh time, he was cured. The leprosy was gone. Rejoicing, Naaman returned to Elisha and offered him tons of treasure. Elisha said, no thanks, it was God who healed you. Naaman was cured because God healed him. He wasn't cured because the waters of the Jordan River are magical. He wasn't healed because he was a good person. He wasn't healed because any of those reasons. He was healed because he put his trust in God. Even though he was reluctant, he still trusted God to save him. That's how we're saved. Like Naaman, we have a problem. But wait, I don't have leprosy. No, but we do have the curse of sin and death. That's bad. And we cannot save ourselves. That's really bad. But thankfully, God has given us a way to be cured. Should we take a bath in the Jordan River? No, that's not how we're saved. Like Naaman, we must follow God's word. How did Naaman listen to God? Didn't he listen to Elisha? In the Old Testament, God spoke through two ways. The law. The commandments he gave in the first five books of the Bible. And the prophets. Men who God spoke to, and then they spoke to the people. God spoke through Elisha to Naaman. So Naaman obeyed the word of the Lord and was saved. So we must hear God's word and obey. God's word tells us to repent of our sins. God's word tells us to trust Jesus. God's word tells us that by grace, through faith, we are saved. It is not of our works. Only God can make us whole. We must trust in God. We are all like Naaman. We need help. Only God can help us. Do you trust him? God can make you clean. Follow God's word today.